Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make a holiday drink with eggnog, some rum, and we are gonna use the Fellow Prismo on the AeroPress. Quick little rundown of the Prismo. It's a little filter that comes inside this little cap here. This is a pressurized valve, and right in there, you can see a little, little opening. This Prismo attachment for the AeroPress is Fellow's way of making espresso-like coffee at home without using an espresso machine. If you've never heard of the Prismo before, look it up and check out all the cool little videos they have about it. My normal way of doing the AeroPress is the inverted way, which is putting the AeroPress together and flipping it upside down, doing all of your brewing, stirring, letting it sit. You put the cap on at the top and flip it and then plunge it. Now, a lot of people have problems with that for some reason. I've never spilt it or burnt myself doing that. So maybe it's just luck for me. When we're using the Prismo, we just put the AeroPress normal. Just screw it onto the bottom and let it sit right there and then put your coffee inside. Since this is a pressurized valve in here, you can pour your coffee and your water inside here when your AeroPress is just upright and there won't be any dripping, there won't be any leakage. Just make sure it's screwed on tight. And from there, we can have control of stirring and making sure that we're getting the right amount of time while we're brewing this espresso-like coffee. This drink is super easy to make and so yummy, especially in this time of year as we get closer to Christmas. These types of drinks just put me in the holiday spirit even more. And we get to add some coffee to it. Up first, we're gonna grab some eggnog for our rum. We are going super classy with the old Captain Morgan <laughs> spice rum. This is what I always mix together, just the, the eggnog and the rum. And then I picked up a pack of beans from a local coffee shop here. I made sure it was an espresso styled bean. We're gonna mix all these up and give you a delicious drink to enjoy. Okay, we just measured out 20 grams of coffee beans. And we are actually gonna be using the Porlex Mini today. I find that I can grind way finer in this Porlex Mini than uh, Mr. Ode over here. Eventually the Ode will be able to grind for espresso drinks, but at this time, no, no, no. So we're gonna go with the good old hand grinder. So grind away. While I'm grinding here, I just set my kettle to 212 Fahrenheit. Fellow actually has a recipe on their website for the Prismo, and it's 20 grams of coffee in, 50 grams of water at 212 Fahrenheit. That's where they tell you to start and then dial in from there. And I've tried it with this bag of coffee already, and it's pretty good. So we're just gonna stick with that. Grind until you can hear no more beans being ground up. And we are done. The Porlex Mini, if you've never really used it before, it can grind super fine. I mean, technically this isn't espresso fine, but like I said, it's much closer than the Ode would get. Okay, our water is ready. Let's get brewing. All right, we've reached our brew temperature. All right, first things first, I always like to just rinse off my plunger. You can do it inside the glass that you're gonna be brewing into. This just helps with uh, getting that plunger not sticking as much. Fellow says to make sure that the fellow sign is pointing up towards you. And then you just simply take this and put it on your AeroPress like you would normally. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And then just place it on top of your glass. Okay, so now we're gonna get our coffee into our brewing device. AeroPress actually has a nice little attachment. It goes on the top. And then you can just pour your coffee right in. Oh. 20 on the dot. Shout out to the Porlex Mini. Now we're gonna pour our 50 grams of water in here. And I actually forgot my wooden spoon, so I'm just gonna be using a, <laughs> this is actually like a little instrument for my kid's toy. Feel free to use a spoon or whatever. I'm gonna set my timer. Three, two, one. 
and begin our pour. Just a smidge over, give it a nice stir. And Fellow actually says to stir this for 30 seconds. So as our timer is going on over here, we can have an idea of when to stop stirring, which is right now. And then right at the one minute and 30 mark, we are gonna take our plunger and fire it away. And you can see that pressurized espresso coming out of there. I pushed all the way down, I'm sure you don't have to. But just like that, we got some espresso like coffee. Now into the fun part. We're gonna give our eggnog a little shake and then just pour till the glass is about half full. I'm no barista guys, so don't be expecting uh, some latte art. And I don't have a shot glass, so I'm actually gonna be using a quarter cup, which is about 60 milliliters. A shot is roughly 44 milliliters. Right. let's do this. Make it a little strong. Put it on in. And give it a little stir. Okay guys, here's the first sip. It's good. It's good. Pretty impressed with myself here. I'm not a barista. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure if actual coffee shops offer this drink with alcohol, I'm sure it'd be a thousand times better than what I just made. But you know what? This is a little recipe that you can do at the comfort of your own home. If you have an espresso machine, have at her. It's probably the, roughly the same measurements. I'm not a bartender. I don't have my license for that. So I don't actually know the proper measurements for shots and all that stuff. I'm also not a professional barista. I'm just a guy who likes making fun coffee drinks at home. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So hopefully this encouraged you guys to make your own fun holiday drinks this year. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Stefan Ramirez. Come say hi and let me know what your favorite coffee holiday drink is. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to go and make some fun holiday drinks. On that note, I will see you guys next time. Bye.